Uh, John Summerall just spoke with us, and he was very admittedly kind of disappointed in team effort today coming off of the bye week, being obviously one of those leaders. How do you guys really attack that going into tomorrow and the rest of this week? Um, it just starts with the mindset. Um, we can't just roll out our helmets and expect to beat these guys come Saturday. Um, and we got to have a, a better practice um, tomorrow for sure. Um, and, yeah, I'm with him. Um, but it just comes out, you know, competing, playing hard every rep, you know, not taking plays off. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm confident we'll bounce back tomorrow for sure. He's been almost a different leading receiver every week of this year. And, you know, entering the competition late, you haven't had that much time with all of these guys. How have you really cultivated chemistry? Last week it was Yo Keith Brown. It's been Dante Fleming, Mario Williams. How's that really all come together with each one of those guys? Um, just off the field, really, our relationship is extremely strong. It, every single one of those guys in the receiver room. Um, and so, and they all have, you know, amazing talent as well. So um, it's just matter of time, you know, whoever's going to go off each week, you know what I'm saying? It could be anybody, Mario, Yule, um, Dante, any week. So um, just the rela relationship that we have off the field is really, um, I feel like, uh, the biggest thing. You you lead the American Athletic Conference in passing efficiency, and you're in the top ten nationally in that same category. How would you assess your first half of your first year playing? It uh, starts with the guys up front um, giving me time to throw the ball. And then the dude just catching the ball, you know, I, I don't have to do a lot. Um, just got to get it to them, and then they'll go make plays. So um, I'm just thankful to have those dudes around me, and, you know, they make me look pretty good. Has it gone pretty much like you expected it would as a starter? Yeah. I mean, I've, I've always been confident in myself that, you know, it's going to go the way I want it to. Um, and, again, like, it's just the dudes around me. It's, it's really not just me. It's just everybody around me that makes me look good. So. Now, kind of talking on that point, I think the last three games you guys are averaging about 50 carries, about 262 yards rushing. I mean, how how has this rushing attack really helped you perform the way you have this year? Yeah, and yeah, like I said, it starts up front. Um, our hogs are moving dudes, moving the line of scrimmage, and you know, our our OC does a good job scheming up runs, um, and so that just opens up everything in the pass game. Um, you know, play action, taking deep shots, and you know, it's like a, a good one-two punch. Rice has the uh, fourth ranked total defense in the conference from maybe what you've seen initially of them. Uh, what allows them to be uh, effective on defense? Um, I think they're super multiple. Um, they can play, you know, any coverage, um, have a bunch of different fronts. Um, and so I think that messes with, you know, defenses trying to scheme stuff up and they'll just be in a different defense and they'll just blow stuff up. And then they also, pl they're well coached and they play extremely hard. So we ought to be prepared for that come Saturday. Yeah, I was going to ask you, what do you uh, what do you see from Rice? Uh, Coach was just talking about how extremely hard they play. They're pretty detailed and um, how close last year's contest came as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'll just say the same thing. I mean, they're multiple. Um, and so we just got to come ready, you know, do our thing and, and not worry about what they're doing. And I think we'll be fine come Saturday. We have a really unique situation here with the kind of use of Ty Thompson back there. And you guys seem to have a really strong relationship. One of the first ones to go over to him after he scores a play. He's always with the iPad ready for you on the sideline. How important has that relationship really been and the, the chemistry between you guys and really being able to split those reps in the red zone? Yeah, it's been extremely important to me. Um, I really look up to that dude, and he's been super helpful, you know, um, with everything. Really, he, he has a extremely high IQ, and, you know, I'll ask him questions and stuff, and he always has the right answer. Um, and he's a, a great athlete. He's too good not to have on the field. So it takes the pressure off me and has a lot of eyes on him, which can help, um, you know, free up some other guys. Early on in the year, uh, Yo Keith Brown, Ashadi, they both said that you really calmed them down out there, and that's you know really impressive. That was after the first game. What do you really find out there that allows you to kind of slow everything down and have that sense of poise out there? Uh, it just comes from my preparation. Um, I just prepare week in, week out, doesn't matter the opponent, um, prepare my way and I'll know that, you know, that's where the confidence really comes from is just being confident in my preparation uh, week in and week out. Right here, oh, Darian. Uh, from the Southeastern game to this week, what has changed personally for you in preparation and, and I guess m maybe you're more relaxed, what, what, what has changed in your mind and your game and off the field also? Um, I'd say I'm just, I feel like I'm seeing stuff a little faster, like quicker, um, just getting that experience, you know, live game reps. And the more I play, the more I can see stuff open. Um, 
and just easing into my role as a starting quarterback um, has been the two biggest things for me. It's the NIL era of college football. Just how Tulane's fear the wave collective and all of that. How much has that helped in terms of the environment around yeah, the team? Yeah, I think it's helped, you know, getting dudes out of the transfer portal with a lot of talent. You know, we had a bunch of receivers out of the portal, literally but almost all of our receivers out of the portal. Um, and so that's extremely helpful, you know, getting, getting that talent around here. And it's, it's really, like, it's kind of crazy, you know, to think I'll be playing with, like, USC receivers, <laughs> like Texas A&M, like I never would have thought I would have been here. So um, it's been extremely uh, helpful for us, for sure. During home games, we've seen you sort of interact and feed off the student section. I mean, what do you get out of that moment when, you know, you score a touchdown, you look over to the student section, they're hyping you up, you're hyping them up. I mean, talk to me about, you know, the energy that you get from playing a home game. It's just my competitive spirit. Um, my coach doesn't like it too much, but I just, I just love, like to go out there and have fun, and that's the biggest thing when you're going out and playing football, you know. So, just having fun out there, interacting with everybody, making it a good time for everybody is really what I'm trying to do. So, thank you, guys.